Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. As you've seen, this is our old station. We've been using this for a long time now. We test many products here. There's so many different jigs we set up. One of the recent questions is, what is the difference between a pencil point spear tip and a tri-cut spear tip? These are the two variations. We make the tri-cut. The belief is the tri-cut cuts better and penetrates better than a pencil point. Obviously a little more difficult to make. The theory behind it is the sharp edges cut while penetrating, whereas a pencil point creates a pressure zone around the shaft as it gets fatter and fatter, creating more of a load. I've never tested this. I have no idea how it's going to work. The logic is if we test two shafts, both identical lengths. These are two meters. We're using two meter to give a reasonable amount of mass without having to add mass to it. The jig itself is quite simply a stainless steel tube. We're gonna drop the shaft down. The trick is to make sure the tube is perfectly straight. To do that, I just used a muzzle weight piece of string and you lay that in the two axes. The first one is front to back, perfectly straight. Obviously I've preset this all up already. And the other side, perfectly straight. I've clamped it and wedged it to get it into the right plane. It's not critical because we're using the same jig for both tests. If it's slightly out, no big deal. I don't want to have to hold the spear and try and let it go. We don't exactly know where it is. So I've made a little trigger. All it is is a stainless plate that I will then push out the way and the shaft will drop. The best is to use ballistic gel. It's used in all the gun tests. I'm sure you guys have seen many videos of gun ballistic testing. So we thought it would be the appropriate product to use. Because I don't want to waste it, I want to first test it in foam. So I've just taken two pieces of EVA foam. This is the same stuff beach tongs are made out of. Set that up underneath and I'm going to drop it. Let's see how deep it went. Went through both pieces. So that was the pencil point one. It didn't come out the bottom. So now I'm setting up the tri-cut, as you can see. This one is the tri-cut. Let's see how that works. Make sure we're in a clean piece of foam. Let's see how it goes. Also, through both, but not out the bottom. So, the next trick is to do the same, but now with the ballistic gel, and then we can mark the actual depth as we can see into the ballistic gel. Okay, we set up the spear again. This is the pencil point. We have the ballistic gel in position. I've no idea how this is gonna go. Never done it before. I hope it doesn't go out the bottom. Let's see what happens. Wow, I'd say that's Almost perfect. Bit of frost has just come out of the fridge. Not quite the right place. Let me get down to its level.
Uh, obviously, we're going to cut them. <laughs> because it's been in the fridge, it's now got condensation. Condensation on it's making it difficult to write. Okay, let's get that out and then move it over a bit. There are places to use pencil point. I believe around reef, it's less likely to blunten compared to a tri-cut. So if you're shooting fish in caves, reef backdrop, very good idea to grind a pencil point, which is much simpler to do anyway. Um, but if you're wanting good penetration, we believe this is better. Proof on the pudding is in the testing. So now I need to move this over a tad so we don't hit the same hole. That'll be cheating. <laughs> Already? Here we go. Very interesting. Clearly not as deep. Now this is obviously ballistic gel. Allegedly the same as flesh. Oh, now that I've come down to it, optical illusion. I'm seeing it at very little difference. Probably a few percentages better. Let's try that again. We're going to continue using the both spears and let's do multiple tests the fact this one's still rigged i'll run this a second time so we've done the first two this will be the second batch we got a feeling that it might have continued sinking after it came to a stop that we can pick up in the video so we're going to run a few more tests then we'll go back and evaluate it so this is take two try cut Yeah, definitely seems to sink. So I'm not gonna mark it because says there was a continuation. Let's do the same with the pencil point. See how that happens. At the end of the day, all these tests we do are not only to show you guys what happens, it's also for ourselves. We need to know what's going on with the equipment. And we need to prove or disprove theories. Take two pencil point tip. Let's see how it goes. Wow. <laughs> A lot deeper that time, definitely. There shouldn't be a variation because the ballistic gel is uniformly packed. It's still only the four holes. It wasn't like it went to another hole. Very interesting. Let's try take three. Different position. Harder to see. The camera should pick it up, but that also looks like it went very far. I got a feeling maybe we are getting better penetration the second and third time around because the tip of the spear is now lubricated with the gel. Take three, try cut spear. Definitely went a bit further in my opinion and is still sinking. So, in conclusion, all these years we've been assuming that the tri-cut is way better. Doesn't look like there's that big a difference. So, maybe we might even be changing the way we make our spears in the future. I hope you enjoyed that one. Please subscribe and like all the right things. Please ask questions. 
like this one and we'll do the testing on your behalf.